So these were um, so energy performance certificates being brought in, and you see these little energy um, graphs, so these energy charts. See in the diagram here that you get when you buy a, a dishwasher or a fridge. Um, well, they've bought they they have these things out now for whole buildings. So if you go online and look at uh, Right Move, uh, and then go look for uh, either a purchasable or a resi or a rentable residential property, there is a legal duty on the person who puts it in the market to uh, show you how expensive it is going to be to live there in the way of your fuel costs. And so it gives it an energy efficiency rating and it gives you its current rating and then the rating it can potentially hit. So in 2016, 2015-16, uh, residential properties in the owner-occupied or private rented sector had an average energy performance rating of about 60 on a 1 to 100 scale. Social rented properties were doing better. They had 68, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, and so these energy performance certificates would say roughly how much it costs to run the property in lighting, heating, hot water. And then it would suggest some of the easier and the harder um, energy saving measures you could fit in your property. So this came with um, uh, what's known as the Green Deal, um, where the government forced the energy companies to pay for some of these big expensive measures that we've described at the start of this lecture um, up front and then you would see no difference in your uh, fuel bills but what would happen um, is behind the scenes you'd be pay uh, it would cost a lot less to heat or run your property and so the savings the energy company would put in their pockets to pay off what they had had to uh, uh, borrow to fit the energy performance, so to pay for the fitting of the energy performance measures in the first place. And so that nasty upfront cost was removed. And so the people living in the property would go on paying exactly what they used to paying up until a point 25, 50 years later at which the uh, cost of this had been paid off. And then suddenly the, the cost of uh, energy usage in the property would drop dramatically. Now, the reason the scheme never really got off the surface was partly because the uh, network of companies that had been approved to put in these Green Deal measures, these energy efficiency measures, were charging premium rates to put them in and so shot themselves in the foot completely because no one was interested in paying them. Um, the other thing, of course, you are ultimately paying for this. Um, is uh, that the uh, interest rates that the energy companies were offering on these loans um, were actually uncompetitive. They were around 7%, whereas loans were commercially available for the same sums of money for around 5.6% at the time that they were offering this. And so nobody took it up because you would, uh, you could, if you wanted to, get out a commercial loan, fit the energy efficiency measures, and then go on living in the property. And, and so it wasn't terribly popular, and there were questions about about what would happen uh, if you still had to pay the money whilst the property was empty, etc., etc. So it never really got off the ground, but energy performance certificates, thankfully, have stayed. And so once you have one of these for an approved assessor, they cost about 80 quid to do, um, then it sits on the property for a period of 10 years. But you should get it updated um, if you're uh, putting in energy efficiency measures.